goodbye goodbye hair what is up y'all getting ready to get this hair braided up so we can hibernate for the winter last time y'all seen my hair in a while okay this is gonna be the last time y'all seen my hair so let me turn around give y'all a 360 uh, let me it up because i need to god me i thought why y'all i gonna be able to have no what the hell okay lines okay shirt okay so get ready to put my hat for the winter so i'm gonna just i mean to take a a steal of this hold on straight okay so that's my i hope I, was i in the frame girl i better have been in that frame i was in the frame Anyways, if I wouldn't, then hey, whatever. So I done, um, finna get, get ready to put my hair for the one. I done already parted my sections. And I'm gonna break my hair in a different way in the front this time. Well, not different, but. Oh, Lord. Is that right? I got my part there. Y'all see a part? Okay, that's parted. So I'm gonna take this back. Take the back part. Twist it and get it out my way. Okay, get that out of the way. So, I will be wearing um hats, mostly hats, mostly hats. Um, I'm gonna get this whole section and braid it the same, going the same way. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna just brush. I don't usually like brush my hair, but I'm just gonna gather my edges together a little bit, and um, so they can so they can flow into the hair. So I'm just gonna make this one piece. I, the reason why I did that because when I wear my wigs, I don't want them, like no part in my hair. I don't want a part. So I want to, I'm gonna braid this back, and I'm gonna try to keep like the braid at the back of the part. Okay, at the at the beginning where the part begins. Okay, I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, cue the music. Okay, y'all, this is the day. I am so glad for this day, um, that I get to put my hair in a long term protective style. That means that it's gonna be in this style for a while, and I won't have to worry about my hair for the winter. Okay, my ends is gonna be tucked away and all kind of good stuff. Okay. I mean, those who follow me, y'all already know I'm tender-headed. I mean, I'm tender-headed for real. Like, for real. Ever since I was a little kid. This junk hurt. <laughs> Now, y'all don't see me do my hair from start to finish. Now, it's time to say goodbye. Girl, I'm so happy. It's going away. I'm going to braid my hair up and I'm going to leave it alone for a few months or a few weeks. Whenever I feel like I need to take it out, that's when I'm going to take it out. Don't y'all worry about the parting in my hair. It ain't got to be straight, baby. It just got to be close. And you just got to be a part. I don't care if it's zigzag, crisscross. As long as it's a part that I can braid down, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to braid my hair. I'm so glad it's going away, y'all, because sometimes I have to get on my nerves. Be doing the most. But um, y'all get ready, because I'm going to be bringing out these wigs for the winter. And I'm going to be wearing some hats in some of my videos. So y'all going to see it. Stay tuned. So let me explain how I'm braiding my hair. As y'all see, I put that um that braid across the front, like around the front of my hair, and then I'm gonna be doing this braid like this around the back. Now, the reason why I chose the way to do my hair this way is because I want to be able to take that braid in the front or loose, and the ones that I'm doing right now in the back, I want to be able to take it down in a few weeks 
Uh, probably about halfway through, so I'm going to say maybe about five or six weeks, I want to be able to take these two braids down because in the front on the hairline and in the back nape area, the hairline is where I always get the most buildup because it's your, you know, the perimeter of your hair, you seem to get the most buildup from sweat, uh, gels, or whatever you might have around the perimeter. I want to be able to take that section uh, loose and not bother the, the middle section. I'm going to just leave that alone. So we'll see what happens. Okay, y'all ready for me? I'm going to be reviewing like a bunch of cheap synthetic wigs that I found under my bed, y'all. I done had some wigs that I done had for so long, even before I even moved here. I done had some wigs that I've had for a very long time. When I first started YouTube, y'all, you know, I still love those wigs. They are synthetic wigs. It ain't a lot of people out there that's wearing synthetic wigs no more, y'all, because y'all done got too bougie for me. You know what I'm saying? But me, I ain't bougie. I still wear my synthetic wigs and weaves. They, they might not last as long as the newer uh, models of hair, but if you on a budget, baby, these synthetic wigs is, you know, the truth as long as you know, handle them with care, okay? Y'all stay tuned to my channel because I'm taking it back to the plastics. And, um, yes, y'all see, as I'm, I did my hair around the perimeter. And in the middle, I'm just going to do an up and down zigzag method, catching one braid um, as I bring the other braid down and catching the end of that braid and pulling it up and bringing it back down into the other braid. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what I thought I just cut, baby, but I thought I cut some, so don't mind your business. Oh, and please believe, I'm not going to leave me out. If I don't review nothing else, I'm going to review my bonnets, y'all. I know y'all think I go my I've been asleep, but don't sl I ain't been asleep. I've been back in the lab making bonnets. I have. I got plenty of them, and I'm going to be putting reviews out on all of them, okay? All of them. I ain't gonna get put I ain't gonna be pushing no wigs and nobody else product before I push my own, okay? So if you into wearing bonnets on your head as you should be, um keep up with your girl, okay? My website, go to creations.wells.com. I will be updating it, okay? I've been slacking, but I'm getting back on track. Alright? Alright. Also, newsflash, if you do not follow me on Facebook, please go follow me on Facebook. I've been slacking everywhere, y'all, but I'm getting back on track over there, too. And if you don't know by now, I do give away bonnets on Facebook Live, okay? I do giveaways. So, please follow me on Facebook. I mean, I don't do giveaways every time I go live. But when I do go live, sometimes I do giveaways, okay? So if y'all been sleeping on me on Facebook, y'all, I'm going to need y'all to come over there on Facebook and follow me. I need 10,000 followers on Facebook so I can get monetized, y'all. So tell a friend to tell a friend to come follow Goldmouth 100 on Facebook, baby, so she can get monetized. Appreciate it. And baby, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go my 100 underscore, then what is you doing? I'm trying to get my followers up over there too, okay, y'all? Because I've been doing reels and all of that there. I'm trying to get it how I live on every platform. And y'all, if y'all don't know by now, I don't post the same thing on every channel for the most part. You know, you might see two or three repeats of what I do on different channels. But I'm probably going to start doing that because to get my followers up on everything. But for right now, 
I'm posting different content on every platform that I'm on. So follow me everywhere. Except on little TikTok. Y'all can follow me on TikTok too. But I ain't really, you know, I ain't over there for real yet. It's a, it's a little struggle to get my followers up on there. And I'm thinking about going back to my um Gold Mouth East channel where I did mukbangs and all of that there. We just going to be on this internet thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the internet by storm, y'all. It was something holding me back out here. But I'm trying to release the burden that has been holding me back and so I can just do what I need to do without no holes barred, okay? I can freely work and get it how I live, okay? Okay, so at this point, I am putting oil in my hair. I'm done. I'm so glad I'm done, y'all. This is like, oh, God, this is a relief. So I can be done with my hair for a few weeks, and I ain't got to worry about it no more. I'm just put my little uh, stocking cap on, put my little wig on, put my hat on, whatever. I ain't got to worry about this hair for a to Keep it moisturized and sealed and all of that good stuff there, okay? Don't don't think I'm going to forget it just because I put it away now. And, uh, you know, in this jar right in this um oil thing right here, just some little jojoba oil I mix with a little peppermint oil, and that's it. That's all. Ain't nothing special. Um, but I'm... Putting it all in, massaging it in my scalp, and then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna put these braids here. I'm gonna get a little needle and thread and tuck them away. Y'all will see in a minute. Okay, so somehow I lost footage of me sewing it down. But as y'all can see, I use orange thread to so I can tell the difference. Because a long time ago, way back in the back, back days, baby, I used to use black thread in my sewing. Baby, let me tell you how much hair I done cut off, plaits I done cut off because I couldn't find the thread. Uh, I couldn't figure the thread out, but, you know, against my hair and the thread, I couldn't tell the difference, y'all. So ever since then... Your girl uses orange thread or any brightly colored thread that's not the color of my hair. Because after a while, when you be done left your hair for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks, that thread blend in with your hair. And if you're doing it yourself, you can't see it. It's hard to see. You can see it, but it's hard to see. So I got the orange so I can see. Back there, I just cut my little kitchen off, y'all, and cleaning it up in the back. Because my hair grow down my neck. That ain't going to bother me. Hair go again with them raggedy behind scissors. Anyways, y'all, that is it for my hair protective style, long-term protective style for my hair. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all so much, and that's all I got to say in this video, and bye, bye y'all. <laughs>